many Super Bowls have you been to? This is going to be the 15th with the NFL Network. 15th with the NFL Network. Do you ever wish you could just stay home and watch it on TV yes, like everybody Yes, I do. You do, really? Yes, I do. But when you work with the NFL Network, you probably have to be at the Super Bowl. Yes, I do. Uh, and it's one of those Crimea River type things. I'm, I'm the only guy the day after the Super Bowl that does not talk about the commercials. I don't see them. You don't I, see any I, of the I commercials? I don't see any of the commercials. I have no... Yeah, I know, right? It's so sad. Why don't you see any of the commercials? Because I'm at the game. Oh, so, oh, okay, so you're not, but you're not watching it on a monitor of any kind. No, I'm actually in the stadium. I see. Do you sit in, because I know you do the pregame show there. Yes. Are you in the broadcast booth, or where we are you? Are, we are on the field up until about um, two some odd hours before kickoff, and then whoever's broadcasting the game kicks us off the turf, right. and then we go outside right up until kickoff, and that is when I'm at my punchiest because I'm on the air for an eight and a half hour long pregame show that and I think started five minutes ago. Very, very cold. And what happened to having Super Bowls in the cities where it's warm and people could run free? <laughs> well, uh, good I mean, question. What, what temperature uh, is it going to be in Minneapolis? Well, I've looked at the 10 day forecast every day yeah. for the last 30 days. Uh huh. Um, and the 10 day forecast reads like a phone number. It is single digits every single day. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jenny's wow. number, 8675309. And do you guys complain about this amongst yourselves constantly? Yes, especially when there's a, a negative sign on Super Sunday. It's supposed to be negative three. But outside. the game is indoors, it is so indoors. it won't matter, yeah. right? Correct. It won't right. make a big difference, right. to the, certainly not to the players. Now, the narrative uh, for this game is you got, the, like David and Goliath, you have the, the five-time champion yes. New England Patriots. You've got the Eagles, who've never won a Super Bowl Correct. before. Correct. Right. Even though they're both number one seeds in, in their respective you know, but right. conferences, but is that um, is that a fair assessment? Is it a David and Goliath type situation? Well, I mean, there's there's enough on the Eagles for people to figure that they could beat New England. There's no doubt about it in my mind that they could absolutely beat them. Um, but we in the media, I think the top three storylines going in is Brady's legacy. Belichick's leg legacy and the Brady Belichick legacy together. <laughs> to me, that's, that's one, two, and three. I think those in. are big, obviously, but to me, the biggest thing is yes. these fans for the Patriots and the Eagles might be. I'm not sure whether to say the best or worst fans because <laughs> they're certainly the most enthusiastic fans. Yes. In the NFL. That's also a euphemism for the biggest a hole fans. Yes. <laughs> I, yes, I would say that as well. That's one now. way to look at it. That's one way to look at it. Um, I remember they're, being... passion, they're so passionate, you know, that's one way to... If you lay on the word, they're, they're so passionate, or they're so passionate... They're so passionate, you know, there's a, way a lot to, of them will to... be arrested after the game. That's how passionate they yes. are. In yeah. Philadelphia, as you know, they had to grease the poles with Crisco oil to try and keep them from climbing it. I saw that, but yeah. There were, some, uh, there were some intrepid Philadelphians who still climbed those poles on Yeah, Sunday when night. you decide, you know what, I know these poles are covered with Crisco, but I'm going up it anyway, you probably deserve to win a Super Bowl commitment. at some point, you it's know? Commitment, yeah. And uh, are your kids into sports and the game and this yeah, sort of thing? Yeah, my, my wife is from New England, mm -hmm. um, so uh, they are Patriot fans in the household. Oh, really? Even though I'm from New York City. Wow. Yeah, well, I went to the University of Michigan. Um, yeah. So Tom Brady. Yeah. So, right. And then, plus, growing up a Jets fan, if I said, look, I need to stake my claim, you need to root for the Jets while the Patriots are going to eight out of 15 Super Bowls, it would be child services come to take my children away No, from no child so, should ever root for the Jets. <laughs> that is a very good tenant to believe in, yeah. <laughs> it, it saves them a lot of heartache and pain. Um, but yeah, they, they, they do love the Patriots. Uh, I grabbed the Yankees and... Oh, so you get baseball. Yeah, I got... Your wife gets football. Correct, my wife got football, I got baseball. Uh, but they're, you know, they're, they're into all sorts of things that you might not think of. As a matter of fact, if you don't mind... Oh, yeah. Uh, I have something to show folks here, if you I don't mind me sharing. I've been wanting to see this. Okay. Because you have three kids, and yes. I will say my favorite of your three kids yes. is your son, Xander. Yes, he's... The reason why, my nine-year-old Xander went to Halloween as Jimmy Kimmel this year. There he went trick-or-treating as Nick. That is Nick. There he is. Now... Yeah. 
I, you know what I like about Xander, besides the fact that he dresses me, obviously, is yes. that he's like, you know, he could have painted a beard on, but he's like, you know what, the hell with it. Yeah, you know. I like a kid who goes 60%. <laughs> it, it might have also broken school rules if you show up with a beard. <laughs> oh, kids uh, are not allowed to. Why, is it a I terrorist thing? I, I, could be, I, I am grade. offended. As a beard, as a proud bearded <laughs> American, <laughs> that is absolutely, what is this school? What yeah. kind of L.A. bull <laughs> school are you sending this kid to? <laughs> so when do you go to Minneapolis? So, uh, I go uh, on Sunday. I'll be there for eight days. Okay. <laughs> well, they're gonna. I'm eight, sure your enthusiasm days. for the oh, city no, I, will I, be I, infectious. <laughs> Why don't you try that hey, again? Hey, look, it's gonna be yeah. great in Minneapolis. They're so <laughs> passionate there. <laughs> Uh, and I feel for them, actually. They, yeah, they, right. their, their team was right there. Not only are they cold, they're mad. I yeah. know. They're like, hey, welcome to the city. We're so glad you're here. The Vikings <laughs> could have been here, but we're glad you are. You know, welcome. Well, so, have fun regard as I much as you can it. possibly Thanks. do that Thanks. at your 15th Super Bowl. Rich Eisen, everybody. We watch the Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience Network and Super Bowl Sunday on NFL Network starting 9 a.m. I am Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.